name's McKenna. I'm the owner of Palm Creative. This is my studio. And today I'm gonna take you guys with me to my first vendor market of the year. So this is the first market I've had um, my counter from Shopify from. So I'm actually gonna unplug it. And then when I get back at the end of the day, we will replug it in and see how many sales we made.
Okay, we just got back from the market and I am exhausted, which is a typical um, result of markets, even if it's not very long. Um, it Honestly, let's do a little, a little recap of this specific market. So this market was kind of more focused on like a flea market and like vintage um, apparel. And then they also had um, small businesses like myself and other like creators. Um, vend as well and I thought honestly we were only going to be a couple of us um in, in the sea of clothing and it actually was like a really good mix which I was shocking however um this event was ticketed so I think that also was kind of contributing to not as having as many people as I thought would be walking through um it ended up like some other vendors were starting to kind of get a little upset I don't know it was just a vibe of there wasn't enough people at this market as everyone thought there would be. Um, so it was like kind of like, I would say from 12 to like 2.30, maybe three. It was like pretty decent. There was quite a few people. I thought, wow, this market's doing great. And then it like died after that. And I don't know if it's because it was like a Sunday afternoon and it's daylight savings. I don't know. Um, however, it was to be expected. I don't know. I didn't expect this market to be like a huge financial like boom so like it's fine um i i thought i'd be sticking out a little bit but i felt pretty good about my display and how everything went as far as like the people that purchased um surprisingly the band book crew necks were the top purchase i think um i thought it was gonna be mugs because i assumed other people they'd be there for apparel that was like vintage so i honestly did not expect that um so that was a little shocking to me um which is always you know it is kind of interesting to see what the trends are for each market you do and this one specifically that's what was selling the best i thought stickers and mugs would do well and i only sold like three or four mugs so i don't know um but yeah let's sh let's do a let's show the counter changing and getting to its new number Now we're almost to 300 orders, which is crazy. At my goal um, for, I don't know if, you, if you're following me on social media, I've been posting every day to try to get to 400 orders on my Shopify, though I've had other orders um, come in from like Etsy and I used to be TikTok shop. This is just my website number. So though I've definitely gone over that number by quite a bit as far as like overall sales in my entire business life, this is just my website that I've been using. And so that is my goal to reach 400 orders on just my website. Um, but so now we're a step closer. <laughs> we're so close. Um, my next market will be March 30th, um, unless I add one in, but I think that's gonna be the next one. Um, and that one will be more of focused on like maker's market and the fee was a little bit lower and yeah, so that'll be exciting. I have a little bit of a break. I will focus on new products and all that fun stuff. But it is hard to decide which markets to sign up for. So that's something that I'm still learning and I feel like will always change. And I kind of just was taking a risk and seeing if this is something that would do well. I don't know if I would do it again with how high the booth fee was and the fact that it was ticketed. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's hard to say. I feel like you just have to keep doing these events and then see how you feel afterward. But that is just uh, my two cents. If you do markets, I want to, I'd love to know what your kind of barometer is for how successful it is and if you would do it again. Um, but yeah, so that was that was the market. We have done it. I think that's what I'll, where I will leave you here today. And the regular vlog will be back on Monday. So this was just a bonus vlog for the week, which was the double videos, which I post um, bi-weekly. I post two a week and then weekly I post uh, one vlog a week. So that is all from me. I hope you have a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching and subscribe, all the things if you liked this content. But yes, have a beautiful day.